So, I've been seeing everybody doing like the Valentine's Day um, fragrances. So I wanted to present, I guess, five fragrances that I think are pretty cool for a date, you know, or a Valentine's Day kind of deal. So, let's get started. Let's get right into it. First fragrance that I would recommend for Valentine's Day or just a date night in general. Oud Vanille. Oud Vanille. Um, this one will more so be catered towards the cooler season. Uh, fall and winter. This one is... Somewhat of a... It has, it's super woody, of course, with that oud. But it's smoky. But it still has this nice and creamy and soft vanilla that's present in it. This is just an unbelievable fragrance, show. Gotta put a little bit of that on. This fragrance is completely inexpensive. You get a lot of that oud sweet sappy resinous you get that vanilla coming in just beautifully nice smooth and creamy so good you get um i want to say up top you're going to get like some caramel and raspberry up top and that's what adds into that sweetness and that decadent sort of behavior it almost comes off like a gourmand but it's some spice in that the woods that kind of keep it and bring you back from it becoming that also it's a very beautiful bottle it's a like a purplish reddish hue really dark and really um just really chill looking Boulevenue by frank olivier i love this house i got about eight or nine fragrances from this house alone uh i definitely highly recommend this one the next one that i recommend uh, and all of these are super cost effective. Uh, I want to say Oud Vanille is maybe 20, maybe 20 bucks. Probably get it cheaper. The next one is from the same house, roughly the same shape, roughly the same name. Oud Touch by Frank Olivier. Uh, these are super sensual and these are powerhouse fragrances too. These are no slouches. You do not need a lot of sprays of any of these two. Similar style bottle, uh, exact same shape. Got the gold, like caramel colored uh, atomizer. This one is a bit more spicier. So on this hand, it's more creamy, more vanilla. We're gonna try a little bit here. He's an atomizer. I probably won't edit this video, so you probably be getting bloopers and all of that look at that fireplace roaring back there warm my hands up real quick this one is more so spice you get the oud you get some sweetness you're getting the same sort of layout up top that caramel that raspberry i think there may be a citrus just one uh it may be an orange or a mandarin or something like that If there is any citrus, it's only, it's only going to be about one. It's not going to be a lot. This one is real dense. I think there's incense. There's agarwood or rosewood, if I'm not mistaken. There is... Uh, it may be some vanilla in here as well, but it may not be as much as the Oud Vanilla. It smells great, though. But low-key, I favor the Oud Vanilla a little bit more. So I'm not sure, but we'll move on. The next one, I'm gonna start off with this one because the next two kind of involved with this one as well. So this one here is from Alt Fragrance. This is crystal number 23. Um, the reason I picked this is because uh, what this is a version of, or what this is a variation of, could be a bit pricey and valentine's day is like right around the corner so this could be a quick little you know last minute grab i think these are roughly around 
$25 or $30 on their website at Alt Fragrance. This is a variation of MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. It's called Crystal number 23. We're going to come with the wrist on this one. Man, it is completely there though. I had a sample of MFK uh, 540. And um, this isn't far off from it at all. This to me is a bit, has a, a tinge more of like that citrus opening. But it's such, it's just a beautiful scent. And especially for that price, the fraction of that price. If it's last minute and you're looking for something quick that you could you know put on for the date you know for the you know whatever occasion you may have planned this is good it's like this smoky sensual sweet slightly resinous but not in a real woody oud kind of way just in this really like a fireplace kind of way it kind of puts me in the mind of uh mason margella the way the way the fireplace scent that he had by the fireplace it kind of reminds me of that, but this just has a little bit more citrus, sweetness, and just a little bit more playfulness than that one has. God, that is so good, yo. And that is Crystal, number 23, by All Fragrance. And they have some good stuff there. Usually whatever they're trying to mimic, they do a really good job. It's usually super refined, super well done, and I haven't really had many complaints about a lot of their fragrances it was only one and i recently submitted a video kind of talking a little more about that <laughs> the next one i have is another variation of ML mfk fragrance and this is a variation of grand soir this is from sensual obsessions this one is called have a good night <laughs> and This is such a chill, smooth and chill fragrance. That amber, that vanilla, um, that benzoin. It is such a good fragrance. It's just so chill, smooth, ambery, uh, sensual. Get close, get you know, come in close kind of fragrance. it just uh it's so classy um to me this is a fragrance that a mature person or mature gentleman would wear it but you don't necessarily have to be a distinguished gentleman it may just be somebody that may want to approach a certain occasion or situation and just in a more gentleman like way like this is like i said that amber is just right there then you get that benzoin, you get that vanilla, the labdanum comes in as like a floral component, a little bit of more of a pepperiness to, to add in with that amber. And it's just really nice, that peppery, resinous, sensual, warm amber, and then that smooth vanilla, uh, that creamy vanilla kind of comes in. And it's those just two just dance the whole time with this fragrance. It's so simple. The, no, the note layout isn't real long and extensive. It's a very simple low, note layout, but it works so well. And that is Have a Good Night, their variation of Grand Soir by MFK from Sensual Obsessions. And Sensual Obsessions make another appearance with my very last fragrance. This one was a special request from me, and uh, Kevin Holt over at Sensual Obsessions was able to accommodate. This particular phrase, fragrance is called The Prince. This one is composed of Roja Doves Elysium. Now, if you guys know me, I love using Elysium by itself. I love pairing it with other fragrance. I think it's a great citrus fragrance. I think it has the ability to be fresh, but it has a great deal of musk, a nice substantial amount of woodiness to it. And sensualness to it while still remaining to be fresh um i love it i love the structure of it and it pairs well with a lot of other fragrances uh one of the fragrances that you will see me mention quite a bit on my channel is angelic effect and that is a combination of elysium and anisio side effect uh kevin made that con con concoction and i mean the guy's a genius <laughs> 
that particular fragrance is so good it's a little fresh and a little it's a little wild wild to me like it's fresh it's spicy it's wild so i don't know if i would wear that as a valentine's day scent because i'm thinking more so nighttime i'm thinking chilling out you winding down you're getting ready to you know progress to the rest of the evening so i'm not thinking you know angelic effect that's more so daytime in my opinion but this one here is a combination of elysium and mfk baccarat rouge 540 the sensualness from that baccarat rouge meeting that musk and that wood and the, and that citrus and the citrus from the baccarat rouge as well coming in contact with this is just really nice I'm actually not sure if the actual MFK Baccarat Rouge has the citrus in it, but I do know that there was a citrus added to Alt's version, and it was really nice how they added it. It definitely added a nice twist to it. So I have to revisit the MFK sample that I have and see, you know, how do those compare. But the prints, it. It's weird. It has this dampness to it. It's almost like this sensual dampness. Uh, it makes me think of like a really warm and sensual rain, if that makes sense. Yeah, like if there was a if there was a way for rain to be warm and sensual, this would be it. Mm. those citruses in the beginning just do a whole dance it's a whole performance and those musk those woods that resinous behavior all that's chilling back waiting waiting for you to, <laughs> to get comfortable with the citruses and then they're they gonna just slide up like yo what's good The reason I asked him for this because I had actually had uh, Nirvana by Alt Fragrance, which is a variation of Elysium. So I paired these two together myself. I did uh, a few sprays of the Elysium, waited, let that dry down, and I took a few sprays of this, let that dry down, and I went to the store, and there was a lady who was working there who was walking back and forth past me, kept walking back and forth, and I was wondering why she was doing it because what she was doing. I mean, my way was just counterproductive. It was an easier way for her to do it. And I was shopping her for a while. I finally get to the front counter to check out. And she was just like, listen, whatever you got on smells so good. I've been walking back and forth past you just so I can keep smelling it. And I told her what it was. She was just like, listen, I don't know what those are, but they smell amazing. So that's when I approached them and said, hey, I need you to make me these particular fragrances placed together. So he did and he titled it the prince i don't know if it's available on the website for sale i don't know if he has it listed in there somewhere i'm gonna double check and let you guys know if i find out i'll drop that link in the description but this stuff is amazing this is probably one of my favorite ones just because of how versatile it is uh to me it's citrusy and kind of fresh enough to pull off in the fall maybe spring uh i don't know about the summer uh, I could try it. Maybe summer nights. I'm always putting something on those summer nights. God, please. And it has like this nuttiness to it as well. I just noticed that. There's this really slight tinge of like this nuttiness that is there. I don't know if it's an almond. But yeah, that is nice. Hmm. Sensual obsessions, man, they knock it out of the park. Listen, that is it for this video. Uh, I, I didn't have a whole lot of fragrances that I could recommend that I can say, oh, this is a good date time, date night fragrance or something like that. I, I got a lot of fragrances, but I didn't know if they would be fitting for Valentine's Day. Um, but I hope the fragrances that I presented were helpful. Uh, most of these are very affordable. Between nowhere, no more than forty dollars for any of these fragrances. Um, so I'll drop the link for all of these in the description. You go through, you pick your poison. And uh, if you pick those, pick pick one of these up and you actually use it for Valentine's Day, 
Let me know how the day went. Hey, it was, the date was really good. Oh, man, we went out here. We went out there. She loved the fragrance. She hated the fragrance. Let me know. Until next time, guys. I will catch you guys soon. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.